What is up YouTube? It's your boy Benjamin the Barber. Um, today I want to go over my tools, what I use, why I use them, so on and so forth. Um, I've gotten a couple of requests on Instagram to do some videos about what I use. Um, so we're going to get into that today. Hope you guys enjoy. First off, I want to start with clippers and then we'll move on to a little bit more advanced tools-esque stuff. Um, I want to just talk about what I use on a daily basis, what are my go-to, every Instagram picture you see, these are the clippers that I use. First we're going to start with trimmers. The trimmers that I like, like that, are the Anis T Outliners. Why do I love them? Because they work all the time, every day. Um, they're great. They are great for going around the ears, clean up the neckline, skin fades, blase blase. And this T Outliner, amazing. Uh, I'm not a cordless guy, I like the corded. I do, in fact, though, have the Andis Slimline Pros. Um, they're great clippers, but I don't like to rely on cordless stuff because they do have a tendency to die. And I don't want to hurt my business by not being able to cut because my clippers are dead. Okay, on to, I do have a cordless clipper, um, the Wall Senior. These I use solely for one purpose and that is to knock out a skin or bald line um, right before I would get into my foils. So I'll go over the foils after this. So you would make your bald line. This is what I'd get my bald line out. Reason being, I don't know if you can see that, but this has a fade surgical blade. So it is flat. Um, that causes for everything to be a little bit just surgically close. So when you're taking out a bald line, that is the blade that you would want. I don't know if you can see that, but yes. Okay, moving on. The heaviest hitters, what I use for all my fades, Andis Masters. Why, you might ask. Because they're the best. They've been around for forever. Um, these are my babies. Um, they have what would be considered a fade blade, so they are not surgical. And this helps with, when you're blending out with haircuts, this keeps you from digging in and making more guidelines. Um, it's the simplest way I can put that so that you understand it and makes sense. I am old school, so I also use Oster 76s. They're detachable, so the way that these work is you would take the clipper, you have a preset blade, so this is a two. Your preset blade would go on, you close it, and they do their thing. I use these on every single haircut to start my baseline around the parietal ridge. I normally start with the two, two and a half, three, blah, blah, blah. You kind of understand those parts. Um, these are going to give a very consistent cut because the teeth on the blades are way closer than a, let's say, guard. So let's give you a prime example. These are both the same guard. This is a one and a half in a wall premium guard. And this is also a one and a half but in an Oster detachable blade. If you can tell the difference between really spread out and really close together, this just makes for a super crispy, clean haircut. Um, now mind you, I do end up using everything a little bit, but that's just the start. Um, go over a little bit of maybe brushes and combs. Every brush and every comb has its own job. Um, if they're not teaching that in school, they're fucking up. You know, you've got your Denmans, which are I use for more of like the traditional haircuts, slick backs, comb overs, side parts, you know, psychos, whatever. You know what I mean? Just stuff like that. Razor fades. Round brush would be, if you're in cosmetology, this is your best friend. This is, for me, I use every single day to create volume because you can round everything and push everything up. Great tools to have in your quiver. Make sure you have it. Another wonderful comb slash piece. Oh yeah, an afro pick. If you are going to be doing big pomps, old school haircuts, you gotta have one of these. These are the secrets they don't tell you guys at shows. This is what you gotta have, bam. So when you are doing the big pomps and you're really wanting to draw stuff super tall, this is gonna be your best friend. Whoop. Moving on. Another clipper that I forgot. And this foil shavers. This is an amazing tool. This is not a tool for beginners in my own opinion because the line that these create are a bitch and a half to get out. 
Whatever you put a line with in tool-wise, you have to use that tool to take the line out. Simple as that. Um, little quick tip for you, if you do put a line in with these, if it's skin tight and it's super close, instead of trying to pick it out like you would with a clipper, you will take them and you will go with the grain of the hair and it will buff out that bald line. There you go, there's your uh, sneak peek tip for the night. Um, back into combs. These are the Hattori Hanzo Shear combs. This is the HHC2. Um, Freaking amazing. Um, kind of the difference between combs that kind of come in your kit. This is obviously not a colored comb that would come in your kit, but this is the same type of comb that would come in your kit if you were in a barber school or cosmetology school. The issue with these is the spine is bigger in diameter than the actual teeth. So if you're not careful when you're running clipper over comb or shear over comb, you're getting an inconsistency cut if you're not being careful enough because they're not the same size. Hanzo has done like they always do and blown everybody away with a comb that is the, the same width all the way through the comb. So the teeth and the spine are all the same size. Um, I use these so much that I need about 500 pair. Um, they also have the HHC1, which is a little bit wider tooth than the HHC2, obviously, um, both go-tos. Um, I do not use a brush for skin fades, meaning something like this. This is solely to clean my clippers at the end of the day. Um, this, obviously, this is probably not okay in Florida regulations, but I clean them off at the end of the day and I spray everything down. You are not allowed to use a brush on people's head when you're fading. Remember that. So, I use a YS Park tight toothed comb for when I'm doing skin fades and you're wanting to take and pick the hair out that you've cut. This is going to be the best comb for that. Um, any tight toothed comb will work. You don't have to have a YS Park. I just love this one. I've had it for a while. So, yeah. Um, I would say if you're going to invest in some combs, Wall makes a premium colored coordination set of combs. And essentially what that looks like, I don't know where they, they, go. they come in an assortment of colors. And the reason you would want the assortment of colors like this would be if you want higher definition, your school kit is going to come with a black and a white. Okay, um, White is great for dark hair. You know, light hair is great with the dark comb. The issue with that being, sometimes it's not quite enough definition. So, these babies are phenomenal. They come in more colors than this. I think I've just lost with the traveling and educating. I think I only have three left, so probably should order some more. But these guys right here are phenomenal. Um, will change your hair cutting life because if you can see what you can do, then you can do what you do, if that makes sense. If you can see, you can do. Yeah, that's... I learned something today myself. That's pretty good. Cool. Okay. Another comb that I use. Big, giant tooth comb. All those textured crops and all the stuff that's coming from overseas to us, this is what they're using is a big, huge tooth comb. They make them bigger than this. I just don't do enough of them to want to invest in a bunch of different combs for that. This one gets me through, gets me by, so we use that. Um, I'm going to get into my scissors. Um, first, I'm going to go over what you should use on a daily basis, and then I'm going to go into all the scissors that I have. I don't necessarily use all five pair that I have. I use only Hattori Hanzo only because I just love the brand. I love them. They're good to me. Uh, blase, blase. So, first we're going to start with my six and a half. Um, yeah, there's not much more to be said about them than they are mad cutters. They will chop through whatever you want, and they get the job done. Um, you can also get bigger than that, which I have a seven. I don't use the seven as often for just regular haircuts because they are, to me, they're more like your, chop, your chompers. They are to take big, big sections of hair and lock them off. Um, great, great stuff. If you end up wanting to get shears through Hanzo, they have like a, not necessarily a starter set, but I like to call it like their barber set. And that comes with their HH40T, 6-0. Six, six um, 
So it has, you know, a little bit tighter serrated teeth for blending, um, knocking out bulk. They are texturizers. No, these are not thinners. Don't call them thinners. Do you know anybody who wants their hair thinned? I don't. If it's bulky, you just want to reduce bulk. No, you don't want to thin. Quit saying that. Anyway, in that barber kit, like I like to call it, you can get six and a half and a 4DT, and I'm pretty sure, don't quote me, you'd have to ask your local Hanzo rep, you can also do a seven and a 6O. And these are like the perfect starter pack because you can get everything done that you need to get done with these. Um, so if you're looking to get scissors, start with that. What I'm going on past that is going to be a little bit more advanced. If you, I mean, I don't want you to, I don't want to lose you. I just want to go through all my tool set. I also have the Hattori Hanzo HH14T. Um, these are going to be the same as the 40, but with a more separated tooth ratio, I guess. That doesn't probably make very much sense, but there are more... There are less teeth in this one and there are more teeth in the 40T. So if you're working with someone with like blonde, fine hair, these would be your go-tos. Um, I use them a lot, but I gotta say I use the 40T a pretty good bit as well. Um, going up to my big chunkers, these are the Hattori Hanzo HH13T and they are for big texture. Um, great for any of those textured type of haircuts or say you've got a female that has like say a line in the back of her haircut so if she was like was doing layers and someone layered it and you can kind of see you can actually pull that section out and rake these through and completely buff out that line pretty good thing to know for any of you cosmetologists um, even barbers I mean we sometimes mess with women's hair um, yeah that's pretty much it for tools Hope this kind of gave you a, you know, look into my world, what I use on a daily basis, and I hope it helps you. Appreciate it.